With Pinnacle Studio, you can use the chroma key tool with your green screen footage to easily create special effects. Chroma key allows you to splice together two different video or media streams to create a single video. You often see this tool used in the movies or in news broadcasts, where a weather forecaster presents the forecast in front of a green screen that is later replaced with a matte background. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with two different types of green screen footage. The first will simply be replacing the green background behind a woman with a scenic landscape. The second demonstration will show you how to work with different sized green screen footage and how to adjust your media to fit exactly. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. I have some green screen footage of a girl in a tent. When she opens the tent, the screen is green, so I can use chroma key to replace it with a scenic background. I'm going to start by dragging the background I want to use onto AV Track 3. Now I can drag the green screen footage from my project bin onto AV Track 2. I'm going to leave AV Track 1 free in case I want to add a title later on. From here, I'm going to make adjustments on the timeline by shortening the length of my green screen footage to match the length of my background clip. To add the chroma key effect, double click on the green screen footage on AV Track 2 to bring up the Editor tab. Then click on Effect and Number 4 Keyers. Now click on Studio Chroma Key. From here, the tool will automatically make all the green background transparent and you can see my mountainous tree background when the girl opens the tent. Under the Studio Chroma Keyer tab, you can go to Select Preset and choose from default, which is the green screen key, choose blue screen key if you're using blue screen footage, or you can choose No Preset if you want to customize all of the below options. I'm happy with the default setting as I can clearly see my mountain background. There are also more settings you can play with, including adjusting the transparency or the softness level. Spill suppression is a neat tool you can use to help eliminate any green screen border along the edges of the foreground object. In this case, you can see a very slight green border along the hair of the girl. By increasing the spill suppression, that border has now been eliminated. Now I can preview my video and it's ready to export. Now I'd like to show you how to work with other types of green screen footage. Let's say I want to make a promotional video about my business. I have this green screen footage of a person on a laptop, and I want to replace the green background with my business website. To do this, drag the green screen footage to AV Track 2. Now drag the video or image of your business website onto AV Track 3. From here, double-click on the green screen footage to bring up the editor. Again, click on Effect, Number 4, Keyers, and Studio Chroma Keyer. We can now see the video of the website through the laptop, but it is far too big, so we need to adjust it to match the screen size. To do this, click on your media on AV Track 3. Now head over to the preview pane and adjust the orange boxes to resize your image to match the screen size. You can also hover over the top orange circle to rotate the image. Now, when I click play, you can see it looks like the person is browsing on my website, and I can use this to create a great promo video for my business. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along, and find other helpful tutorials for Pinnacle Studio.